Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Wade Littrell, and I'm one of the owners of Littrell and Mill in Decatur, Alabama. And uh, welcome to the Mill Tour and the Planter Mill Tour. Uh, this first video, we show Jordan and how we stick scale each log that comes into the mill. It gives us the footage, and we grade our logs uh, accordingly. We try to buy only grade pine logs in, in our Decatur facility, mainly uh, the butt cut and the second and third cut. We try not to buy the third cut and fourth cut if it's rough with a lot of limbs. Uh, what we shoot for is uh, grade southern yellow pine at this facility. Right here you see the loader loading logs onto the log deck. Uh, the first process is uh, uh, putting the logs through the debarker, and this process r just removes the bark from the log, and uh, we do this and to save the blades from uh, any objects that may be in the bark, say of rocks or dirt. Uh, also, we use the bark for uh, mulch and landscaping. So there's no waste in this process at all. After the logs are debarked, they will travel through this blue uh, is a metal detector and it will stop if it detects any kind of metal inside the log. And it will, we will kick it out and then go over it with a hand metal detector to see if we can salvage the tree by removing a nail or a bullet or something. The next process is uh, the log will be rolled onto the carriage <clears throat> and this is the first process of breaking down the log. What this uh, the sawyer will do here is remove the two edges to determine the width of the board. We saw 12, 10, 8, 6 inch width boards. That log right there required, it was a 10 inch wide board and then he will remove the other two edges because it is a grade log, which will travel then to the vertical resaw, which will be used to break the, the log on down into individual pieces, one piece at a time. This is just a way of speeding up the process. And this pine log right here, it's probably about a 24 inch in diameter and it will be cut down, he will have to take uh, several sideboards off. These one inch boards will travel down to what we call the board edger and what it will do is remove the two live edges and make the board into the desired width. And the width uh, is going to be a 12 inch wide piece, a 10 inch wide piece, 8 inch or 6 inch or even a 4 inch piece. That's what you're seeing here. This board's traveling on down, and, and it goes into a machine that has just two edge, two saws that remove the outside edge. The little bits you can see of those big pieces, that is going to the vertical resaw, where he will just take one board at a time all the way through. This is the board edger that you're watching right here. And what it's doing is just determine the width of the board that it will make and taking off the two edges that are unsquare. The thick pieces that from the head saw, they are brought up to a horizontal band saw that is laid down on, on its side and we can recover out of the, the slab, the round part, which is what's called a slab, we will recover one inch boards and it's just a merry-go-round that will if it will make another one inch board he will return it back to him all this one inch material that you're watching right here will be used uh, in a high grade such as a v-joint or tongue and groove flooring uh, picture frames, there's a lot of different uses of it. It's just a high grade full quarter lumber. The low grade logs 
we only remove two sides of the log and then we dump it to this machine here is uh, known as a gang saw and it's just a bank of saws that are spaced out like for one inch two inch and there's even like a six inch hole that you can make a six by six out of that for like post for fencing or barns or deck materials like that but this is a low grade log they're just uh it's just a quick way lumber through this machine mainly goes to wood treaters uh, for decking material and construction materials such as a uh, home building when they re exit the gang saw it falls into this unscrambler and then a person will will determine if it needs to go over to the board edger to remove that to make the edges square or if it's got square edges it's uh, it exits on out on a belt and the next process will be uh, going through what is known as the end trimmer here you see the boards exiting from the unscrambler and they were prepared to on this chain to the end trimmer which the end trimmer is the is just a saw machine that squares the ends it cuts each board to the uh, its designated length and it's square and it just makes it easier for the next process of drying so that you can stack them in there closer after the length is trimmed it's, it falls onto what is known as the green chain and this chain we separate some of the widths we hand pull just because of the the grade if they we use a sorter system also and we have problems with the through the sorter with it uh, busting a lot of the wide boards so we hand pull the wide boards off into a stack Hey y'all, I hope you're enjoying the mill tour. This is Jordan. I just wanted to jump in here real quick and talk to y'all about something that's super important and that is waste. We virtually have zero waste here at the mill. Um, you're watching all of the scraps coming out of the sawmill going through what's called a chipper and that's going to just grind up these scraps into wood chips basically. Um, these wood chips are then taken over to the shake table where it sorts them out by large and small pieces and uh, the larger pieces go back through that chipper the small pieces are blown in those chip trailers and taken to the paper mills and turned into paper another product i think he touched on is the bark off the logs all of that is sold to the public to use for landscaping purposes or yard projects and things like that another product we use here at the mill ourselves is all of our sawdust our dust is what runs our boiler which in turn is used to heat the dry kilns, which you're going to see here in a little bit. Uh, we can produce 50 tons of chips a day, which is about two trailer loads. So that's, that's a lot of product that we're able to turn into something else uh, pretty useful. So anyways, um, I hope y'all are enjoying the mill tour. I'll let y'all get back. Thanks. After it exits the green chain, what is not hand pulled we bring over to what is known the sorter and this is just what we use to separate the different widths and lengths of the wood uh, and it goes through a, a reader of eyes that tell it what length and what width it is and the thickness and then it has a, uh, a bay that it will drop the lumber in automatically it keeps up with the piece count because the next process is uh, preparing it to dry. When it's full, we drop out the, the bundle onto this uh, chain that will move the bundle up to what is known the stacker. And this is the process uh, It's going through the unscrambler system, going up to the stacker where we, each layer we put sticks in between for airflow for when we load it into the dryer so this is just the process of putting the sticks in between each layer
after the sticks have been laid, it's ready to go to the staging yard for waiting on the uh, dryer to open. And each dryer holds about 100,000 board feet. Uh, it takes 60 hours to uh, dry four quarter southern yellow pine, which is really a one inch board, down to 12% moisture content. It starts out around 60%, and it will take 60 hours at like 180 degrees. After it, it exits the dryers, it's ready for the planer mill, and we will hold so much lumber till we get like two days running of each width and then this machine it will smooth the lumber down all four sides it does the top and bottom and the edges to the desired width after it exits the planer it's on the grading table which each piece is hand inspected and graded and if it has a uh, end that's too much wane, it will be trimmed back through another trimmer system. And he's looking for knot size, crook, uh, the number of knots. If it's a clear piece, it will go as a C grade. If it's got just a few small knots, it will go as a D grade and then a number two. And then if it, the knots are too big or too much wane, it's graded into a number three, which is used for crating. And that's your low grade lumber. Your number two, D and C is used for flooring, uh, V-joint, tongue and groove, beaded ceiling, nickel gap uh, siding interior homes, and some is sold even as S4S. But right here, they're just separating the grade and the length, and then it's uh, removed with a lift truck, banded, And the next process will be put on a truck for its next spot. All right, y'all, this concludes our mill tour. Uh, that bundle right there is getting ready to be put on a truck and head to its final destination. Thank y'all so much for watching. We really appreciate it.